Hey guys, it's Varun here from 499 and here we are at CES 2017 at the Xiaomi booth. Yes, Xiaomi has a booth at CES for the first time. First time, man. Yeah. yeah. And here we have Jay Money from uh, Xiaomi to walk us through the Xiaomi booth itself. So let's go jump in. Hey everyone. Yeah. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll start at the mix okay. area because we want today we want a new white Mi mix. Oh, Mi mix white. Uh, all right. Alright, so you, have you seen the original mix? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I have the mix here. Okay. Um, but we have this is the new white one. That's a black one, unfortunately. Here we go. Yeah, so that's the white mix. Wow. This thing was beautiful in black. Now it's going to be even more harder to find the. Yeah. You know what I like actually? The silver thing here looks really good. I have the gold one. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, so these are both one here. This is, this is actually 18 karat gold. Uh -huh. So uh, you know, you've done. Have you done a review on the mix before? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I don't need to go through all the features and like different things with the speaker, yeah. etc. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. White. Looks like a piece of marble. <laughs> it is still white ceramic, which is yeah, quite different. So let's keep going here. Uh, this is our first uh, uh, curved on both side device. So we. With Mi Note, we launched that, uh, what, a year and a half ago now. That was our first phone with the curve on the back. And uh, we like that so much. Almost every phone we have, including, you know, like, Redmi 3S Prime, you know, Redmi Note 3, they all have the curved backs. That's because they really feel a lot better in the hand. This device also has a curved uh, LED display on the front. Um, so you kind of get this nice curve on both sides. One of the advantages, is uh, when you're browsing, it's just like a smooth edge. Uh, it also looks kind of cool. <laughs> I think that's the other advantage. This is the first phone that we have launched, which uh, has global LTE bands. So there's a different SKU, which will fit in. Uh oh. <laughs> there's a different SKU which will uh, that we have, which has like the US LTE bands plus the European bands. All right, let's keep going. Uh, so now we're going to go to the um, the uh, smart home section. Okay. So we have a lot of our ecosystem products there. It's my favorite section, personally. So I guarantee, I'm very sure that as soon as this video goes up, we're going to get a lot of questions about when are all these things coming to India. We're working on it. Uh, we can't do all of them at once. Uh, but we definitely want to bring as many of these as possible to India. The first one we brought is actually right there. That's uh, the Air Purifier 2, the Air Purifier 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I think you know this, but, but what isn't well known about our ecosystem products, um, that is non-phone, non-TV, non-routers, they're actually all made by other companies, by third-party companies. Uh, so this company is, uh, all they do is make air purifiers. They've started to make a couple of other air quality related products, but they're really good at it. You know, like this thing is really, really good. You, I think you enjoyed it as well. Um, so a couple of other products here. So we have, uh, this is a kettle. Yeah, so this thing is a smart kettle. Let's you, um, you know, heat to specific temperatures. Actually, like when you're making something like uh, matcha tea or coffee, you're not actually supposed to use boiling water. You're supposed to heat it up to boiling and then bring it down to like 90, 80 degrees Celsius. Um, in China, a lot of people drink warm water. So this keeps water, water warm the whole day. Um, also, if you're making like baby formula, um, you know, you, you can get a precise temperature as opposed to like microwaving it and like sort of feeling it and seeing it there. Um, this is our rice cooker. Uh, so this, um, this uh, is not launched in India, but um, in China, a lot of people use rice cookers. Um, and this is the first induction heating rice cooker. So uh, it sounds cool. It actually is kind of cool. What it does is uh, most rice cookers, and if you, well, almost knocked everything over. Uh, if you cook rice, you know, like in a pressure cooker, um, it's similar, but most of the heat is coming from the, you know, the flame, the stove. Whereas with induction heating, everything is warmed at the same rate so your rice is cooked uniformly um, the other cool thing we do is we have scanned uh, i think over 2,000 rice packets like different types of rice you take your phone you scan a qr code we'll pull in the recipe for that rice so we know like 
how long to cook it, different temperature to get you the best quality bread. Uh, this is our laptop. Have you seen this before? Yeah, the mini notebook. Yeah. So uh, this thing is really, really nice. Um, very thin, you can see here. Um, one of the things I, I like, which is sort of, um, some people think it's weird, but we actually don't have a logo on the back. Um, and so we give you stickers. So, you, you know, most people, they put whatever stickers they want. Um, and actually, Apple, uh, they put the logo upside down to the user so that when you're using it, everybody else knows you're using it. We give you a totally plain canvas. We give you some of these stickers if you want to put them on or if you want to put, you know, like uh, dinosaurs or whatever on there, unicorns, you can put it. Um, the other thing, I don't know if this is on, I think there's one over there that's on. Um, the display is like very thin bezels, so you know, when you're using it, it's a really nice experience. I mean, you can hold it, it's, it's very light, right? Uh, so it's got NVIDIA graphics as well? Yeah, this is separate, it is not using the Intel uh, this version, the smaller version, has an integrated graphics card. It's the 13 inch version. And it charges by uh, USB C? Yeah. 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 But we've also included a uh, normal USB port here. Uh, and then we've also included HDMI. Uh, so you can have Type C, but you can also live the dongle free life, which I think many people enjoy. Uh, and the headphone jack, of course. And uh, what else? Uh, these are our Bluetooth headsets. Um, these are a bunch of our speaker products. So uh, these are, you have this one? The mini one. This one. Oh, this is pretty nice, right? Um, actually has good sound for the size of it. Um, what is this one? This is um, humidifier. Uh, so actually with the humidifier, um, it has a UV light in there, mm -hmm. so you don't need to put filtered water. It'll make sure that it, you're not like humidifying with like dangerous water or whatever. That's the water filter there. Um, we can listen. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so this is our smart home kit. So these are basically like a bunch of different um, sensors and buttons. And what they do is they let you take, uh, basically make a bunch of triggers, right? And then. With each trigger, you can, can you can set customized actions. So like this thing is a motion sensor, right? So a trigger would be detect motion. And then you could say, when it detects motion, turn on the lights, right? This thing is a button. So it's like one trigger could be pressing the button once, or it could be pressing it twice or three times. And, and then again, you could change the action. Like maybe one trigger is turn on the lights, two triggers is put the lights in sleep mode, you know, where they turn off in 15 minutes. Uh, this is a this is a magnetic sensor so these are for doors yeah it's like doors and windows so uh you know like it, it can sense when the windows open and close and again you can say for example with the air purifier you might want to turn it off when you open the window because it's not much point uh, and then turn it back on when the window closes and that's what you can do with uh with these things these things are very small um so they use zigbee um, which is like basically a low protocol low power Wi-Fi protocol that a lot of smart home devices use, um, and uh, yeah, batteries last about a year, maybe a little longer. Um, this is um, this is like the hub of all these products, uh, so everything connects to this. Um, and this also has a speaker um, and a light, so you can make it like a night light. Um, some people use it in stores, and it's like the welcome thing. Uh, and then this is. Um, this is kind of like the button, but it has a lot more gestures. So you can like swipe, you can uh, you can turn it, you can shake, um, and then you can again set it to uh, whatever sort of custom actions you want. You know, uh, have you used IFTTT? Yeah. It's kind of like that, but for smart home products where you can set it to do you know a bunch of different triggers. This thing is new. So this is um, this is the power the power line adapter. So basically, what this does is you plug in Ethernet here from your uh, router, plug this into the wall, then you take this other end. You can plug it anywhere else in your house as long as depending on your grid setup. Um, and uh, this will make another uh, Wi-Fi network, and it it doesn't use Wi-Fi, right? So it's based on the power lines in your house, and so it lets you extend your Wi-Fi network really, really far through walls, everything like that. So that's pretty cool. And then this is the one with the big hard drive. This one has a one terabyte hard drive. We have another one with an eight terabyte hard drive. Um, actually, you know, these things, 
these repeaters. So this extends your Wi-Fi network. Um, they work with any router, uh, but if you use a Mi router, all you have to do is it's USB. You just plug it into the USB port on the back, and it'll configure automatically. And then you can plug it in anywhere else in your house. And just start. Okay. So yeah, this is the air quality sensors. So these are uh, laser. Actually, it's it's about sixty dollars, um, and the air purifier itself is about hundred dollars. They're just expensive. Everyone sends them very expensive. Um, you know, I use this in India to show people that air quality is pretty important um, because a lot of people don't believe it. But if you show them, you know, the, the sensor, then they can tell like, hey, you know, this is this is something I probably should care about. It's also useful to find out, you know, like in my room, I wasn't sure if I needed two or one. See, oh, the air quality near my bed is actually not that good. So uh, these things are really cool. Uh, this is the 12.5 inch one. And again, you can see that there's very thin vessel here. Um, it's really like a beautiful, it's a beautiful device. It's super thin, you don't see a fan. Um, one thing you can't uh, see on video, but the keyboard and the trackpad both really, really good. And the mechanical so it's like a feel. Um, uh, what else with our laptops? Oh, another nice thing about our laptops is they have an upgradable memory. There's just an empty memory slot in there, so you can plug in like a memory. That's pretty cool. Uh, the, this guy, the bigger one, has um, a separate detail, uh, sorry, a separate NVIDIA graphics card. So it's not just the integrated detail graphics. So this thing actually is a really good gaming device. Um, and you know, one of the things that most laptops don't do at this price is they don't have full HD screens. They usually have some kind of screens, full HD screen. So this thing is really cool. It's really good. One of the one of the really cool things I like about our TVs. So obviously, you know, you can see they're really thin. One of the ways we did it is we, we took all of the, the smart stuff, like the CPU, um, you know, all the inputs. They're in the the bar down here. Uh, so the, that has a few advantages. One is it makes the TV thinner, which is great. Um, the other advantage is most of the TV cost when you buy a TV is actually in the panel, right? So I think Hugo said it launched about 80% of the cost in the panel. Um, the panel will last you, you know, many years. Um, but the speaker bar, the, the hardware, the, you know, the smart part of the TV, um, you know, that might need an upgrade uh, sooner than that. This way you can, without upgrading the whole TV, you can just swap it out, which is really nice. The other advantage is if you wall mount your TV, there's just one cable from the speaker bar to the TV. Um, and that, first of all, looks nicer. And then if you run it behind a wall and you want to change any HDMI inputs, all the HDMI inputs for the TV are actually in the TV bar. So they're all, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but they're all here, right? So if you want to change anything, it's much easier than if you had, you know, if you had all the base you might input to the back of the TV, because your TV would be against the wall. So I think that's uh, that's probably this is the thing we launched today. It's really cool.